we're going to look at one of the most non-intuitive things in all of special relativity. For me, one of the biggest surprises when I first started learning the subject. It seems so intuitive to be able to say that two events are simultaneous or occur at the same time. And yet, when we start looking in more detail what simultaneous means in special relativity, what we find out is that judging that two events occur at the same time all depends on the frame of reference that you happen to be in. And we're going to find out that different observers might not actually agree on two events being simultaneous. This is referred to then as the relativity of simultaneity. And for me, again, it was quite a surprise. To really demonstrate this, let's think about the following thought experiment. And in this thought experiment, we're going to use, remind ourselves over and over again of how we use the speed of light to judge time. So let's suppose I stand at the 50 centimeter mark of a meter stick. I'm right at the middle. I'm going to designate the left end of the meter stick as A, the middle is B, and the right end of the meter stick is C. At a certain point, I'm going to take out two pocket lasers, one in each hand, and I'm going to send a pulse of light, one off to the left and one off to the right, towards the ends of the meter stick, A and C. Since I'm standing at exactly the center, then those pulses of light should arrive at the ends of the meter stick at exactly the same time. For me, standing at the center like this, I would judge that those two events, namely the arrival of the pulse of light at A and the arrival of the pulse of light at C as being simultaneous. It sounds so reasonable when I say it like this. But let's look at this example in a little bit more detail using world lines on a graph. First, I'm going to suppose that time t equals zero, I'm at location xb, because that's the center of the meter stick. And then I'm going to be asking all about what happens when light arrives at locations xa and xb, or xc, excuse me. The locations of these, the world lines of these locations are going to be vertical dashed lines. For me, neither the ruler or me are moving, so we're all at rest. If we're at rest, those are vertical lines on, the, on a world line graph like this. Now, I shine the pocket light lasers, one off to the left and one off to the right. Those two light rays, at least as represented as world lines, are going to move at 45 degrees. They would be the graph CT is equal to plus or minus X minus XB. And that's because the speed of light is C and is the same for both rays of light. The left ray will arrive at, at location x sub a at a time t sub a. It's going to be later off into the future after t equals zero. The right ray would arrive at location x sub c at a time t sub c. These two times have to be the same because the two distances from B to C or from B to A are equal in magnitude and the speed of light is propagating, well, the speed of light of propagation is the same for both the left ray and the right ray. Therefore, TA has to equal TC. And since they're equal, I would say they're simultaneous events. Another way to show simultaneity on this graph is to point out that the, the times TA and TC are equal or parallel to the x-axis. But let's look at the situation from another perspective. Let's suppose it's you and the ruler whizzing past me on the, in the lab. I see all of you, the ruler and, and yourself, passing by with velocity v. I think I'm at rest and I think you're moving. As a result, I would draw world lines for U at location B and the tips of the ruler at locations A and C like this. They would be sloped because all of you are moving at the same speed through the lab. That slope has to equal, um, or the tangent of that slope has to equal the tangent of V over C, where V is the velocity of U and the ruler, and that ratio V over C is sometimes called beta. When beta approaches 1, and v therefore approaches c, then this tangent approaches 1, and that means that we're moving at 45 degrees on this world line graph. 
but you're not moving at the speed of light because you know that's a little bit fast for you. So you're moving at some lower speed, and that's going to indicate what the slope is on these world lines. Now, the light rays that you send out happen at some point in the middle of this process, but by Einstein's second, uh, by Einstein's first postulate, I have to say that those light rays are moving at speed c, just like you did. I'm not going to change that observation because by postulate or by uh, by first principles, there's no derivation of this. It's just a postulate in relativity. All of us are going to agree on the speed of light. So I'm going to draw world lines from the flash point at location B off into the left and off into the right that are at 45 degrees. The left ray should arrive at location X sub A at a time T sub A. And I just look here on this graph when those two world lines, the one for the tip of the ruler and the one for the light ray, intersect. The right ray arrives at a location XC at a time T sub C. To d judge what that time is, I just look at when the light ray world line and the world line for the tip of the ruler intersect. But now notice that TA and TC don't, are not equal. At least according to me, I think that those two times are different. In other words, I do not judge these two events, the arrival of the light pulse at A and the arrival of the light pulse at C, to be simultaneous. Isn't that amazing? Because you thought that they arrived at the same time. This just points out that this concept of simultaneity is relative. Not all observers are going to agree in all cases about events being simultaneous. I will say that there are circumstances in which all cases, all observers will, will agree on simultaneity or not, but it is possible in relativity to have some events in which one observer says they are simultaneous and another observer completely disagrees. Therefore, simultaneity is not some absolute that we can trust. It is to be evaluated as part of a measurement process. The one thing that we fixated on here is that the speed of light was the same as judged by me and as judged by you. Therefore, even though you thought the events were simultaneous, I did not. And the, na the nature of the discrepancy here is what we were really forced to agree on, according to postulate from Einstein, is that light propagates always at speed C.